Welcome to the Sunoco Recycling Murph located in Raleigh, North Carolina. Come inside and take a tour with us. A MRF is a sorting facility called a Material Recovery Facility. All recyclables from your house, school, or business comes to one of these facilities. At Sunoco, they take our used paper, cardboard boxes, plastic bottles and containers, glass bottles and jars, and metal food and drink cans. Remember, never leave anything sticky and gooey on the inside of the containers. It leaves a big mess. This facility uses a lot of mechanical equipment to help them sort out each kind of material so it can go to a factory and be made into something new. Workers stand beside the conveyor belts to help sort out certain materials and remove things that may be dangerous to them or to the machinery. Uh oh, looks like someone tried to recycle a green garden hose. Remember, not everything is recyclable. Never put ropes, hoses, clothing, or anything that can get tangled up in your recycling bin. One of the first steps to sorting at Sunoco is to remove all glass. A machine called a glass breaker shakes the material against sharp metal blades so that tiny pieces of glass fall through tiny holes in the screen and are moved to an outside collection area. Did you notice the white stuff that came out of the chute? That's shredded paper and it's hard to contain. Check with your local town or city first to find out if it's accepted and how to prepare it. Next is the removal of all the different types of paper. Cardboard is separated first because boxes are so big. Then, the paper sorter has wheels that spin and grip the pieces of paper. Kinda like a sticky lint roller. Anything that's not flat, like paper, will continue on down the line. Next is the separation of plastics, which can be tricky. A machine with a laser scanner can detect if a bottle is a certain type of plastic and send it to the right bin. But the machine is not perfect, so workers help look for plastics like milk jugs, water and soda bottles, and colorful laundry soap containers. The one type of plastic they don't want is our plastic grocery bags. These bags get tangled and wrap around the paper sorting wheels which can damage the machines. It's important to never bag your recyclables. Remember, you can take the empty bags back to a grocery store to be recycled. Once the plastics are removed from the conveyor belt, the final sorting step removes all the metals. Did you know that there are two different kinds of metals in the stuff we use? The first one is steel metal, which most of our soup and vegetable cans are made out of. A strong, powerful magnet picks them up and releases the cans into a very large bin. The second kind of metal is aluminum, which our drink cans are made out of. Aluminum is not attracted to magnets, so an eddy current machine uses electricity across the top of the conveyor belt to find and separate the drink cans. See how the cans jump and fly into the bin? Now that everything is sorted by its type, they can bundle the material together in a machine called a baler, which makes a one-ton rectangular bale. Here comes one now. The bales are either put on a truck to be shipped or stacked up like you see here, to be sold later. Each row of bales has a sign labeled above it with the type of material in each bale. For more information, visit the website on your screen.